Welcome to The Real Coffee Talk. Tina and I are here today. We've got some pretty cool things for you. And one of them is, we're going to talk about choosing the best leader for your community. And we've talked about this because in my schooling, of all of the schooling, <laughs> bachelor's degree, cosmetology degree, whatever I've had, the one rule is never talk about politics or religion. But today we're not talking to you about politics. Right. We're actually discussing the proper way or the best way. We shouldn't even say proper, or should we? Well, I don't know if it's, well, yeah, it's not proper or best. This, these are just some guidelines to help you choose a leader that's going to be representing you in your, your community. community. Right. No, you know, no matter what that position is. So there's some of the things we're going to talk about that. So we're so. going to mention what makes a good leader and how do you know that you're voting for the best candidate for your community? So Debbie, what do you think about this? <laughs> well, may not want to know what I think, but here you go. This is just the way I do it. If somebody wants to represent me, whether it's in Frankfurt or whether it's um, in a committee or um, any, any type of position that they're going to be representing me, I look at how they dress. And I know that shouldn't matter, but it does. You know, um, do they dress for profession? Um, do they, how do they conduct themselves on Facebook? Now that's a big one because whatever they're doing on Facebook, they're going to do in that meeting at some point. They're going to forget where they are and they're going to act like they do on Facebook. Because what happens in social media is people think that that is just a, a shield. Like they can't see everybody, so then they think, well, I can just say whatever I want to on here. Right. And you know, we learned quite a bit when we first went and ventured out into California. It doesn't matter. The world is not so great big. You know, I know that it is uh, in a small community, right? but even the world, the great big world out there, everybody checks your social media. Yeah, they do. And they, and they don't just check it. They count, they're kind of critical about it. Sure. So if, <clears throat> let's say something's going to be coming up in our community as to whether we're going to get... Um, a big investment of some kind or whatever, those people are going to be looking at our leaders and look at their Facebook page right. and look at how they behave in meetings. Now when they do that, that tells them whether they want to be associated with us or not. So to me that's a big thing. Your etiquette, you know, how do they talk, how do they act, how do they interact with other people. It just, to me, that's very important. Right. Now I know, you know, if they have a college degree, I, it doesn't matter to me. It really doesn't. If it's not required for the for the, for the position, position yeah. right? Yeah. If it's not required for the position, it doesn't matter to me. But like I said, what does matter to me are how do they act on Facebook? That means that's the way they're going to act in Frankfurt or wherever they're going to be. That means what you say, what yes. you say to other people. Yes. You know, there's quite a few things that go into and that. And how you say it. And Twitter, I mean, uh, yeah. one of the biggest complaints is all of our politicians that, you know, are at the federal <laughs> level, they utilize so much of social media. Uh, they tweet a little too much. Right. But the reality is, you know, people are reading it. So you are important if you are the person that's running. Not yes. only that, let's, you know, flip it over a little bit. If, they're, if you're expecting them to choose you, then be that same person yes. behind the camera or behind the social media right. venue. You, you really have to be careful. And if you are running for office, you need to remember those things. You know, just try to conduct yourself when you're in public the way you would if you were in a meeting. And right. if you're on Facebook, if it's not appropriate during a meeting, it's not appropriate for Facebook. Right. Or Twitter. And, or Twitter. Or Instagram. And, exactly. <laughs> and, and I'm going to tell you, I have seen posts on Facebook and Twitter and, and Instagram and all that that probably wouldn't want that person representing me. Right. So, so you actually just, utilize those tools to determine yes. who would be the best leader for you. Yes. You create our community, so yes. make sure that you're being a part of that. And it's not to be a bad or a you know best no. or whatever, but actually choose the leader that would yes. represent your beliefs and yeah. your thoughts. Not just because you went to school with them or because, well, their mom and dad's really sweet. Well, that's great and wonderful, but they're going to be representing you. It's like right. sending yourself to Frankfurt and acting that way. 
Exactly. That's, that's where I draw the line. That's their brand. <laughs> you, their branding, right? If, if you're going to act that way, you're not going to represent me. Let me tell you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so choose so you choose your leader wisely, yeah. and you know, look at all the aspects. Yeah, and we do have elections coming up here in November in Kentucky. Yeah. Yes, in and November. Then, yep. Now, Indiana, do they have elections this year too? I'm not sure. I'm I can't remember for out. sure, but yeah. So in Kentucky for sure, but. Yeah. Just make sure you go a little step further. Check out their Facebook page and their Twitter and Instagram. Well, next up, we're going to talk about emotions and how emotions affect your health. Do they affect your health? Oh, yes. You think they do? <laughs> oh, yes. I think so. <laughs> Many people don't think so, but since I've been writing my Happy Coaching 101 and it's, I'm right. actually wrapping it up, but one of the conversations that I have in there and discussions is about how your emotions affect your health or how you feel in that day, how much you accomplish. And I know I asked the question, but it's true. They do affect you. So even if you're angry or if you're sad or if you're happy, it doesn't matter. They really do affect the way you feel. They affect your heart rate. They affect if you feel energized. So you want to just be careful when you do have those angry emotions or you do have those sad times and to just hold back a little bit, take a deep breath, let it all go, and then think, how can I feel better? And it, and it doesn't take that much. I think the interesting part is just I make a happy word and I have a happy word, you know. At any occasion, I'll have some time where I become just in a moment, I'm thinking, that really aggravated me. And so I'll just come up right now, mine is pink unicorns. I don't know, but we have lots of happy words. But just change those thoughts and change when you have those, you have to have them. You have to have those negative emotions. And they always run in there right, somehow. Right, right. So. But when you do have them, take a minute to pause and breathe because everybody has them. Yeah. Everybody has moments where they just lose control or they become angry or outraged and and that's normal but step back take a big deep breath in exhale blow it all out and then reassess well I think that's something we forget we, we talk about being kind all the time it's okay to get upset or angry right it's what you do with that afterwards do you know did you lash out did you break something you know did you drive too fast now you cross the line, but it's okay to be upset or to be angry. There's nothing wrong with that. And if you don't agree with people, that's okay too. I right. mean, Tina loves pink. I do love pink. I love red. <laughs> I love you Tina. You red dress. <laughs> I love Tina. But you'll see me in red or you'll see me in black most of the time. Now this dress is a little pink, but which is unusual for me. But it's just that we're not exactly the same and that's okay I don't care right you know and you just have to remember that if someone decides they like something better than what you like it's not that they don't like you it's right. that that's their preference and and they, and still they may like be it. having a bad day if they, uh, if they said something but doesn't mean it doesn't feel any different right. you know if you're the person on the other side and somebody attacked you verbally or something like that right. it does create an emotion of agitation yeah. and yeah. I'll tell you when we're talking about health health wise does it affect you if you think about it and you have somebody that's very very sick and all they think about is that illness yeah it doesn't improve no but if they could just tweak it just a little bit and think of something happy one little thing it may not heal them right but it will definitely improve the state that they're in at that moment well now you know my grandmother always said it doesn't matter how sick you are you get up you make your bed you take a shower and you get dressed that's an amazing <laughs> you might go back and lay down but you get amazing. up yeah and you do something you'll always feel better and I have always found that's true I still get up I still take a shower and I still get dressed I may be so sick I can't hardly stand it I've got a headache and I can't see you know migraine or whatever and I'll go take the shower and I'll get dressed make my bed and then I go back and lay down on the bed even though it's made up <laughs> right and I get a little blanket or something right. until I feel better but I don't just lay there and wait to feel better right your emotions and your thoughts yes affect all of that and like right. you said get up moving you know I know that I had a friend that skydives 
and I know we talk about this because Debbie thinks that sometimes she's going to skydive and I'm going to go with her and I'm not. Everybody <laughs> has this on recording, and but I will, like each other. I will go video her. <laughs> I'm just not sure. I'm that means she out has to skydive if she's videoing me. I'm not me. jumping out of a <laughs> out of an airplane. But had this friend that was uh, he was actually a professional skydiver, and he said one day he was so sick. And he said, I am not going to be able to make this class. And he had already set it oh, up, no. you know. And he was very upset. He said, but you know, I just kept telling myself, get up. Yes. And, and go to the class and see. He said, it wasn't fever, you know, just didn't feel well. He said he did not even remember it. Now that's an extreme case, okay? Because he still went skydiving and he didn't feel well. I can't say I'm that wonderful, but right. but he said, you know, like you said, he got up and he just kept pushing and he kept pushing and he kept pushing. But you know, it's not about having to be totally ill. It's just how you right. feel does affect yes. how you feel. And <laughs> you know, she also would tell me that you are responsible for the way you feel. Um, Tina and I are sitting here together today. I'm not happy because she's sitting here making me happy. I'm happy just because that's me. But I don't wait for other people to do things to me and then go, well, I'm, I don't feel good because I'm mad because what they did to me. No. no. You know, I, if somebody has done something to me and it's hurtful, I feel sorry for them because they now are not going to get to talk to me very often. <laughs> I'm just yeah, we're done with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm done with that one. You know. So, but then I see the fact that if if they've done that to me, they've done that to other people. So that means they're losing their friends, and that's where I'm I'm coming from is the fact I feel sorry for them because right. I see them losing their friends. Right. And there's nothing I can do about it. But you know, other people are not responsible for you being happy or sad. No, that's, you that's are your, responsible. Yes. You are responsible yes. for your own happiness. Yes. And how you react. You know, I know Jack Canfield has one that says, I think it's a vent plus action equals outcome. Yes. You know, I think I think that's right. If it's not right, Jack Canfield, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's correct. I know yeah. that he has one that's fear, false evidence appearing real. But anything, if you have fear, if you have that, it makes your heart race. Right. If you're angry, I know one time I was super angry. I came in and talked to you and I was like, I don't know why, I just feel so agitated, you know. We just stop, breathe, relax, and step back and decide. Now I'm going to finish this up with, in Jamaica, they do not have problems or issues. Did you know this? No. They have only solutions. They're always looking towards what's next, and it's not That's the exact thing. That's what they should phase, be doing. But they always said that. Now, I haven't been there, but I have a good friend that's been there, and she said all Jamaicans will say, we're always looking, if there is an issue, it's a solution. We're right. looking for the next, the best way. I think that's a neat feeling. Well, I like that, you know, even if you're in a group in a meeting and an issue comes up, it's not why did you do that or why is that happening? It's what do we need to do to fix it? Right. Yeah, you need what to What can we do yeah. to improve? That's and the same with you. <laughs> how can you improve when you're angry and your heart you're like ah, yeah. How can you change that? You just find a word. Find a word that makes you laugh. Something. I'm always doing something crazy to Debbie, you know, and I'll I'll go into a little calm <clears throat> mode and then I'll just start making her laugh. So I'll reset those emotions. We don't want you to have bad health problems. Yeah. Find uh, something to laugh about today. Right. Maybe it'll be us. And, I don't know. <laughs> well, it probably will be because we're going to shout out to some people, aren't we? We are. We have some people that uh, we know are at home and they're not able to get out. They're trying to recover from different things, surgery or illnesses of some kind. And uh, we saw, I saw a lady today in Bedford and she's super sweet, just super sweet. But she's having to take care of Mr. Vincent. So, Hi, Mr. Vincent. We want to say, hey, Mr. Vincent. Get Walk to feel a little better. slower. And we'll see you around, I'm sure. We hope that you like this. <laughs> Which is up next, those of you that already know who Mr. Vincent is. He is the previous yes. middle school. Was it middle school? Yeah. Principal. I'm sorry, I didn't work for him, so I don't know. Yeah, he was at, he was at Trimble County. Right. And so he was the principal there. He did a lot of things besides being the principal, but he's... Uh, a little bit under the weather and uh, so we'll let him bring in our next topic which is back to school <laughs> these were my 
favorite days. I know even as a teacher, I was always the one that was running and saying, I'm so glad to be back. So, you know, back to school. What do we need to think about when you're going back to school? I know parents, I know oh, you're wow. excited, but you have some things you need to check out. Right, and a lot of it is, you know, you know what clothes they need, you know what shoes they need and all that, but it's getting all those supplies that they need. And mm -hmm. I'm sure you're waiting on the teacher to send an email or whatever. A lot of the schools will have the the list of supplies for the classes on either their website or their Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So don't necessarily wait for the teacher to send it to you in an email. Start checking. Right. Check their website. Check their, you know, their Facebook page or whatever and see if you can find that list and go ahead and get it done. If, if you're like me, I want it done right now as soon as possible right. so I don't have to worry about it. I don't, and the I don't kids, like last it minute. really kind of builds an excitement. Even when mm -hmm. they're in middle and high school, don't let them fool you guys. They're still excited. I can yeah. remember one year I brought in for every kid that was staying with Nicholas, well, I brought in just stacks of notebooks. And they were like, oh, wow. And everybody was grabbing it. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got these for school. But even those big kids, you know, the yes. college kids, they oh, love, yeah. they they love their back to school. What am I talking about? I love back to school stuff. I well, always buy my ink pens, my newspaper, or yeah. not, not my newspaper, my paper. Yep. So you need to check them out online. You can also get them. Yeah. I think sometimes the newspapers run those lists. Okay, some some newspapers do, some don't. Mm -hmm. So it, the best thing to do would be the website and the Facebook, Facebook. page. Mm -hmm. So they all have those on there. I know. Um, I noticed some of the grade schools. I already saw their stuff out on Facebook. So yeah. they've already got some of the grade schools do. And if you haven't seen it, I do. I wish I did know, but. That's okay. Debbie doesn't even know I'm bringing it up. There is a video of a mother that talks about all the things that she doesn't care what she has to buy as long as those teachers take her kids. So if you've ever seen it, it is cute as a button. She is a really good whatever she's doing, but it's hilarious, and I thought that would be fun. So I'll do, I'm, I may find it, and I'll post it and let you share there it. There you but go. It is cute as a button. She's like talking about how wonderful the teachers are, and she didn't care what she bought, and it was cute. So just look it up. Yeah. One thing we wanted to remind you about, this is something, and I know even as teachers, as far as veteran teachers, going through that handbook when you're in middle oh. school, we had, we had to read it to them. But parents just to give you a little piece of advice to make your life a great deal easier is yes. read and highlight that handbook. I can't tell you how many times I read things to students and then I knew when they weren't paying attention I would ask them a question. But then when they would come back with, you know, they didn't know, we would yeah. go over it again. But the interesting part was they did not know that was in that handbook. No, and a lot of them don't even know there is a handbook right. because the parents have never told them about right. it. Right. So to save yourself some grief, and to get the kids on the right track ahead of time is get the handbook, read it, tell your kids about it. You right. can do it in a short narrative. You know, you don't have to read every word of it, but you can just say, you know, you're not allowed to wear that T-shirt you can't wear to school mm -hmm. anymore. You know, before they wear it to school and have a bad day and then a bad week. You know, why? You don't want your kids to have that issue happening. So just read through the handbook and then sit down with your kids at dinner or something and go over what's in the handbook and... I think the a, easiest way to approach it is it's just like your driving guide when yes. you're learning to drive. Yeah. Well, it's the same. It's it's just like the job description for the kids that are coming to school. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, this I keep thinking of all the issues that are going on in schools today. <clears throat> and I just need to say, listen guys, your public education is created by you. Yeah. So the blame game has to stop, guys, because public education, I mean, so with private, but those people pay to have that spoken. Right. Okay. So then everybody says, well, they get paid for as many kids, and I've heard, all, I've heard everything about pay in school. Listen, <laughs> public education is for your kids for you, your kids. It's, and that's just the way it is. I mean, we have the greatest country. I'm still gonna go back to it, Debbie. Yep. I, I know there's people, I was very upset, but there were some people that made my heart race a little bit over July 4th and said they weren't proud to be an American. <sighs> it still makes my heart race a little bit, but I'm gonna tell you something. Go to another country and then come back here and tell Miss Drake or Miss Crawford that you aren't proud to be an American because I have been in other countries yeah. that were less than and yeah. didn't have as much. So go back. I'm off my pedestal. Well, just make sure you go by the school and get the, 
get the manual so that you know what the rules are for the school and uh, you know what t-shirts the kids aren't allowed to wear what dresses the Shorts. girls aren't allowed to wear I don't even Shorts. know if they can wear flip-flops anymore I don't, I don't know, know. <laughs> I haven't read that <laughs> yeah my kids are too old for that Mine but too. I have grandkids but you just it's just better for the kids and then that way they're not walking into school with something on that they're going to be told they have to take it off turn it wrong side out that's embarrassing you right. know so don't don't let them have a bad day just because they don't know the rules. And even though accidents happen, it does. Oh, yeah. I know one time oh, I had yeah. accidentally let a kid go out and they had a little shorts on, a little in the elementary. It was a little bit too short. But I promise, if it's not all the time, the teachers <laughs> understand. I would look at them yeah. and say, it's all right. We'll get something. You know? So yeah. they do understand. Yeah. And read that handbook. We want you to have a great year. I don't care where your kids go to school. Right. If you're a student... We want you to understand that your education, just like your emotions and how you handle them, is the same thing. Right. And free appropriate, free appropriate public education in the United States can be pretty amazing. It can be, yeah. If you want it to be. <laughs> Well, I went to both. I can say anything I want. <laughs> yes, you can. Because you, you can talk both sides of that. I went to private. I went to private college, private elementary, public. So I can say that about any of them. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. just make sure you do that for your kids yeah make sure they start off on the good on a good foot and then they'll have a better year at least one last incident maybe during the year so right that would right. be great and as always we greatly appreciate you watching one more thing okay what <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys what everybody has down times mm-hmm and we've talked about this and everybody knows I'm emotional I always get emotional but listen everybody has down times everybody has times where they want to cry they have times when they're happy but nothing ever is not gonna pass and that's what we want to end our message with today we love talking about all this stuff to you guys we love being together but the truth of the matter is Everybody has times that are down, and we want you to know that this too shall pass, and to please stay with us and live, love, and whoops, carry on. God bless.